One of the most powerful features within VUSE or Factory Talk VUSE is this Object Explorer. Why is that so powerful? Let me show you. If you notice over here, I have a object, which is this object here, and it's named G underscore PT001. Within that object, there is a child object named V underscore PT001, and another child object named LBL PT001. What if I needed two of those objects on the screen? I could right click, do copy, right click again, do paste, and I've got my second object. But if you noticed, when it named it, it came, it kept the same formatting. The name's a little bit different in that it's PT3, right? Maybe I needed this to be PT002 for pressure transmitter 002. But the point is, it's the same object, but I'm going to refer it to different tags within the controller. But the power of this is the ability to actually identify these objects on the screen. So if, if my screen was full of these pressure transmitters or whatever they may be, if I don't go through the process of naming them the way I want them to be named, you're going to have things like group 9 and you'll have to know uh, what like group 4 or, or what this is, right? But if you actually give them a name and you follow some type of uh, format in their naming, you'll be able to easily identify these objects on your screen. It'll also allow you to go to the Object Explorer and be able to, instead of having to drill down into this group, because what this actually is, is this G underscore PT001. It is the parent object, but it is a grouping of these two objects. So it is a grouping of that object and a grouping of that object. Okay, so if you're if you use Factory Talk VUSE, you're probably very familiar with seeing this uh, group band show up, right? But if you've got an object that has a lot of uh, um, hierarchical structure to it within a within an object, then it can be kind of cumbersome to drill down and get to the exact point you want. But if you give it a name that makes sense, then I can use the Object Explorer to actually go in there and click on the object that I want. That's the power of the Object Explorer. And that has been in Factory Talk VUSE versions as far back as I can remember. But most people do not don't, don't use it. So by clicking on this V underscore PT001, I actually bring up the properties for that panel. So now I can go through and I can tag it, I can change it from a float or whatever. Uh, I can do all that stuff, but it just allows me to gain access very, very quickly to the individual objects. That's the power of using the Object Explorer. But it only gains you or gives you the most power when you give it a name that makes sense so that I can quickly go in here and find this. So you saw where I copied this new one in. So I can go in and actually rename this object to whatever would make sense. Like I said earlier, maybe we want this to be pressure transmitter number two. Well, if I just click on it in the Object Explorer, I can come down here and do a rename on this, 002. And now that object is named 002. Correspondingly, I can come in here and change this one to P002 and I can rename this one. Now I know when you look at that you say well that's an awful lot of work, right? But there again, if you will take the time to go through this process and lay these things out in a way that makes sense, it allows you to get back into it and be able to make changes, find those objects very quickly, very easily, and just makes your development life and your maintenance life of the project a lot easier instead of having to go find the object and then click here and then 
double click a couple of times and then click again and then you finally find what you're looking for and there again you y'all double click again to get that versus just going in and selecting the one that I want double clicking on it and it opens it up so that's the tip and trick right to use the object explorer to your advantage to be able to do this and I'm going to show you one other thing so you can go in and do uh, if you will like mass edits on the screen so I'm going to show you, show you one other trick okay let's say that I've got this object and I right click and I uh, do a copy and I do a paste so I've got another one of the objects and I do a paste again well first off you know what it's naming it it's naming it PT1 PT2 and if you're okay with that that's fine uh, it, it basically just changes the extension to increment the count but if you want it to follow a different format like you wanted it to say PT003 and you wanted that to say PT004 you could go in here and change it and to be honest with you depending on the number of the count I may actually change it from there but I want to show you one other thing you could do so you've added those and you finished you saved that but then let's do something called an export so I could go in and I could do an import export I'm going to export a graphic display clear all these because I only want to export this one and probably what I'll do is I'll do a tip and trick on this export utility later on but we're just going to jump right in and do something here real quick so we're going to export this display and yep I'm good with where it's going to put it could change that if I wanted to tell it to finish and now it's exported so if I go to that uh, directory right there is my export right click I got this utility called notepad plus plus and you can download it's a free download but I'm going to use that it, what it did is it created an XML file so now I've got this XML file if I scroll down through here you can see where I got my GM score PT001 PT002 but now I've got that one so I really wanted that to be 003 and on the label I wanted that to be 003 and I wanted the actual value to be 003 and on this one I wanted to be 004 and on this one I wanted it to be 004 and on that one I wanted it to be 004 now there's some other things we could change we could change tool uh, tool tip text and all that kind of stuff size we're, we're not going to get into all that we're just going to change those real quick I'm going to save this and we're done with that utility and it saved it back to this file I'm just going to right click and do an import export again I'm going to tell it to import now it's asking me do you want to back up that display I'm going to say yeah go ahead and back it up so I'm good with that this is a single or multiple files I'm just going to back up restore a single or an import a single file where does that file live? Right there it is. It's the one we just modified with Notepad Plus. And do I want which uh, file do I want to replace that with? And, and of course, the one that it modified. Now, either I can create new objects or update existing objects. Because I actually, in that XML file, created some new objects that didn't even exist before or that are not going to or haven't existed before, I've got to say create a new object. I'm going to say finish. And basically this is just saying that those objects already exist and it's basically ignored those because they already existed so close that and we're going to go back into our display you're going to notice something look at there pt004 pt003 now this isn't exactly you're not good to go yet because we still got these old objects right and really what's happening here is they're sitting on top of one another right so we don't want these anymore so I can just right click and tell it to delete that right click and tell it to delete that now I've got those new objects in here and again I'm back to my have my object explorer having them named the way I wanted and if I need to get in and look at the change the label for example I can double click and there's my label right so it allows me again to get to that 
real fast. The tip and trick of the Object Explorer. With the additional tip and trick to kind of do mass edits, if you will, using an export to an XML file and re-import back in. So that's basically it. Just wanted to show y'all guys the power of that. And uh, maybe you can put it to use in your applications. Uh, but it should allow you to be able to get to your data objects a lot faster than you have in the past. And you could even use that uh, the ability to be able to search and find where those objects are now. And that, that'll be another tip and trick for another day. But I uh, hope y'all guys enjoyed, enjoyed that, and I hope you can uh, find some use with it. Thank you.